I've had my strong block nodes, well, my first strong node since November 28th, 2021. So for just about two months now, I've since bought a few more. People are always wondering with strong nodes how long it takes to get back the money that you put in. I kind of have no idea what I put in. I bought three in November when strong was in the 400s. I bought a couple in December when it was in the 500s. Then we went on a little run in January and I did manage to yank some of it out for profit before this dip we're experiencing now. And I just bought my seventh node again in the 400s thanks to this current market crash. So my average strong block node purchase price, I'll bet is something around 5,000 bucks. I've only taken profits two times, both times when Strong was in the 600s. So in my lucky case, it'll take less than the usual 100 days to get back the USD amount that I put in to start these things up. And I'm just assuming I'm gonna get lucky again since everything took a pretty hard hit last week. Odds are it'll recover higher than it is now at some point. Who knows when, who cares? And when it does, I can pull out some more Strong, convert it to ETH, move it to my exchange, pay huge fees every step of the way, and then get America bucks for it. Before I learned how to lower these fees, I screen recorded the process of taking Strong strong out of the app, just in case people are wondering just how big these fees really are by default. They're not like normal Ethereum gas fees. If I were to simply send 10 strong from my MetaMask wallet to my trust wallet, it'll cost like 10 bucks. But when I want to take strong out of my strong nodes in the strong block app, it's like $200. Part of what's happening here is that I'm not just taking six strong out of one wallet and moving it into my wallet. I'm taking strong out of seven different nodes, so I'm paying gas on that seven different times. Here's the part of the video though, where I tell you how to pay less fees. Sure wish this was more clearly marked on the app, so I would have paid less gas while paying maintenance fees and then paid more gas fees seven times in a row to take my money out of the ecosystem. If you're using the trust wallet, see this little gear in the upper right corner of the trust app? Hit that thing and you can open up these fields where you can set your max fee in GUI. GUI? GUI? Set this number lower, and all that means is your transaction won't go through until the GUI fee matches what you set at some point when the network is less clogged up. Probably 3 a.m. or sometime, so just go to bed and wake up with Strong in your wallet. You can do the same thing for paying your monthly maintenance fees. But if you set the number too low, your transaction will never go through. And there's no real way to know how low is too low. You can look at historic ranges for where the GUI fee generally goes during the night and just try to set it towards the lower end of that. It's based on Ethereum blockchain network congestion. You could hit the GUI lock and get that transaction through for like 10 bucks, but you probably won't. After you've lowered the amount and sent the transaction through, in the Trust Wallet app, go back to Wallet on the lower left, and then you'll see that Ethereum has a little red one next to it, denoting the pending transaction that's waiting for a clear lane on the Ethereum blockchain highway. Man, did anyone else drive around at the very beginning of the COVID lockdown? There was no one anywhere. It was amazing. This works mostly the same in the MetaMask wallet. They call it advanced options and max fee. It's like going from Celsius to Fahrenheit using both of these wallets. Anyway, pay lower fees. My name is Nicholas Johnson. This is the Space Warehouse. This video is brought to you by me. Goodbye.